Hi and welcome to the session. My name is Shashi and I am going to help you with the following question. Question is, form the pair of linear equations for the following problems and find their solution by substitution method. Fifth part is, a fraction becomes 9 upon 11 if 2 is added to both the numerator and the denominator. If 3 is added to both the numerator and the denominator, it becomes 5 upon 6. Find the fraction. Let us start with the solution now. In the question, the numerator and the denominator both are unknown. So, let us assume the numerator equal to x and the denominator is equal to y. Then our fraction is equal to x upon y Now the first condition in the question is The fraction becomes 9 upon 11 if 2 is added to both the numerator and the denominator Now according to the question x plus 2 upon y plus 2 must be equal to 9 upon 11. This implies 11 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to 9 multiplied by y plus 2. Cross multiplying we get this equation which further implies 11x plus 22 is equal to 9y plus 18. Right? This implies 11x minus 9y plus 4 is equal to 0. Let us name this equation as 1. Now, the another condition given in the question is that if 3 is added to both the numerator and the denominator, it becomes 5 upon 6. Therefore, x plus 3 upon y plus 3 must be equal to 5 upon 6. This implies 6 multiplied by x plus 3 is equal to 5 multiplied by y plus 3. This implies 6x plus 18 is equal to 5y plus 15. This implies 6x minus 5y plus 3 is equal to 0. Let us name this equation as 2. So our two required equations are 11x minus 9y plus 4 is equal to 0 and 6x minus 5y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now from equation 1 we get x is equal to 9y minus 4 upon 11. Let us name this equation as 3. Now, we will substitute the value of x from 3 in equation 2. Now, substituting the value of x in equation 2, we get 6 multiplied by 9y minus 4 upon 11 minus 5y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, multiplying the equation by 11 on both sides, we get 54y minus 24 minus 55y plus 33 is equal to 0. This implies minus y is equal to minus 33 plus 24. This implies minus y is equal to minus 9. Or we can say y is equal to 9. Right? Now we will substitute this value of y in the equation 3 to get the value of x. Now substituting the value of y in equation 3 we get x is equal to 
9 multiplied by 9 minus 4 upon 11. This implies x is equal to 81 minus 4 upon 11. This implies x is equal to 77 upon 11 or we can say x is equal to 7. Right? So, the numerator equal to x is equal to 7 and the denominator is equal to y is equal to 9. So, our required fraction is 7 upon 9. So, our required equations are 11x minus 9y plus 4 is equal to 0 and 6x minus 5y plus 3 is equal to 0. And x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 9 is the solution of the given equations. Where x is the numerator and y is the denominator. And the required fraction is equal to 7 upon 9. This is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you understood the session. Goodbye and take care.